Hi, this is here from Hexel.com. If you used Firebase for your backend, then you know that there are some downsides of Firebase. Although it's uh, super easy to set up and uh, insert uh, fetch data, if you have something uh, is more complex than just a sample app, you modify and insert lots of nodes, tables, and uh, each insertion is at least uh, two or three nodes to update. So, which means uh, that you have uh, lots of client code, which the, which actually like the backend uh, code on the client. Like for example, when you s register new user, you need to upload the picture to storage. Then you have the link to the image. Uh, you create a new user with this link, and then you create. Uh, geofire node so all this stuff and uh, technically it's a backend code right but you have it in your android app and the worst thing is uh, if you have ios and web apps as well then you duplicate all this code and, uh, which makes development slower debugging harder and the uh, testing but there is a solution you can use uh, you can create your server in Node.js or Java and use the uh, Firebase Admin SDK and uh, create uh, like an API for inserting data, updating. But uh, what we're gonna do today is uh, we'll look at the Firebase Cloud functions, new stuff which uh, came up in beta this month. And uh, basically, it uh, it's a Node.js server which uses uh, admin SDK, and there's uh, lots of more features. So let's start. First, make sure that you have Node.js. If you don't, just install it. Then install Firebase uh, tools, client tools. Then log into Firebase with the this client. And uh, create a wrap. As you see it uh, has uh, all your projects so you select uh, which one you want to create for. And those are the files generated. Functions is the Node.js app. Packages. And that's the actual server code in here. So uh, I have this uh, uh, created already. And uh, what it is here is uh, two functions, add message and add user. Add message is just a simple uh, and uh, add user is more interesting. It's uh, it takes uh, user in the body, request body, saves it to users and then uh, saves it to geofire. If you haven't used uh, Node.js for your servers, it's uh, quite easy. Dependency is declared here. Here is a geofire. So you can either manually uh, add uh, dependencies uh, in here and then run install or much better to much better to run this command and uh, it will add it to your packages and then uh, download dependency Yeah, make sure to run it from your functions directory. So yeah, you'll have to deal with the JavaScript. The worst thing about this is uh, 
weekly typed. That's what causes troubles for me, at least most of the time. But it's fast. Right, and when you're ready to deploy your functions, go to your root directory and uh, run this firebase deploy only functions. And yeah, it will deploy it. And then you'll have uh, in the Firebase console you'll have uh, functions in here. And you'll see which ones you have. That's the name and that's the URL. So add user. I use this uh, URL and pass the user in the body. Why is it uh, better to use a server for insertion subdates to Firebase again? The, because it's a good level of abstraction and uh, it will save you time in the future a lot. For example, that's uh, what I had with the Rx Java code. Manual insertion to nodes. Pretty good, but but uh, it's just a simple stuff. Most, most of the time it's more complex. And that's with the API. I just created a REST API with the retrofit and I go just one line here. And that's just the handling the result. You can ignore that. All right, so that's just a small part of the cloud functions. It's and there is uh, also more functionality which I'll cover in future and uh, thanks for watching for now.